Hello everyone. Right, so we're going to go through the uh, way to wire up your camera and screen so it's nice and neat. Now, by all means you can just connect, like my previous video, all the wires up and just kind of tape it all up and fine. But there's um, a lot of us out there on, on uh, the Airgun forum and night vision forums etc etc. Um, there's the almost the need and the urge to want to make it look as neat as possible and um, I can't blame them really because it's it's good uh, so without messing around too much let's go through the process so now in the previous video you saw with the with the camera that I've got this one here you get um, a set of wires uh, which will be your BNC connector and also your power connector uh, in terms of using that, you can do, uh, but I kind of just like to keep it to one side so I could do again my testing of the screens and the cameras as and when they come in. So you can buy the just the straightforward connection for the camera. So it's only three wires, so you've got a positive, negative, and your video feed. That's all you need. Now, this is the nervy part. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you test it, it's going to work, it'll be absolutely fine. So this is where we're going to start severing things. So, what we're going to do, just take a pair of pliers, or you can use scissors if you wish, just a quick cut, and that's done. Um, throw that in the bin if you wish, or keep it. Now, I like to, it's a, I don't know why, um, it just seems neater for me, but keep the cable at the same length as what you have. Anyway, so it kind of doubles it. It's, it's just a strange thing I've got. So we'll just cut that to length. Now, when we cut this back, we're going to have four wires. I know that I can use um, cable cutters, but I haven't got any. So, but I will be buying some because they're going to they'll pay for themselves very quickly in terms of the time and effort spent faffing around. Now, the majority of these cameras will be, and if it's done wide correctly, I mean, if anything's coming through that's got positive on a yellow or a negative on a red, then you've got to, it should work anyway. I mean, you could test this. I won't go through the motions of actually testing this element out, but if you follow the principles, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get... Uh, the cables all connected up. Now the nice easy one really is your yellow, your feed for the video because that's just a straightforward connector. The little snag is where we've got to essentially make a Y splitter for the positive and negative like so uh, because we've got to then split that off so we can connect our DC connector. What I'll do is I'll just strip these uh, wires back slightly. I'm going to just cut off the white one because that's not going to be needed. And then, um, yeah, we'll sort it out. So, as mentioned, I'm just going to uh, pull back the wires. As you can see, I've got the soldering iron on heating. So, now to kind of prep. Now, with the old DC connector, and you'll find out there you'll have a positive and negative so in keeping of tradition what I like to do is with these push on spade connectors I like to use a thicker wire uh, I've tried using the thinner wires uh, and kind of get it all connected up to this and it's it works but I don't like it so so all I've done is literally just got a couple of paid spade connectors and these are really simple I mean they're dirt cheap from your local uh, electrical supply so here in the UK you've got Maplin um, I, don't, I don't even know what it's called in uh, the United States but I've, I've heard the name Lowe's being mentioned but sounds like they supply almost everything in the world so so all we do is we just give those a quick squeeze with the pliers uh, making sure I'm not making a hash of this too much there we go what that'll do is it'll give you a nice strong connection. Again, I've done these before with the 
the smaller wires and they've not been too clever. So it's literally just a simple just put them on, give them a squeeze. You can get um, proper crimpers as they call them and they'll do this really neatly. I mean I've got two little lines there. does the trick but if you want to be totally professional about the whole works then buy the kit. You'll find out the kit is going to weigh, outweigh more than the, than the stuff itself. Now on top of <coughs> sorry on top of the cables I'm also going to um, attach this this is a um, shrink wrap so what I'll do is I'll have a, a run up to the wiring itself um, and then also a run over this this here as, as well just so it keeps it all nice and neat I'll use um, insulation tape to once I've soldered these to keep them all nice and neat so I won't bore you with my soldering skills uh, because you'll sh see my hand shake all over the place but um, yeah I'll just pause it now and then I'll come back uh, so we can put this all together and see on how it powers up. <laughs> 